2020 might have been a rough year for most of us, but the tech sector was explosive. As lockdowns kept the majority of people isolated, many tech stocks that offered at-home solutions, especially for businesses, companies like Zoom, took off. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have also started to be adopted by mainstream media in many countries around the world, and EV cars and EV solutions also seen their share of growth over the year as well as data solutions and cloud services focused on communication. What tech stocks are on your watch list in 2021? Now, number five on my list actually isn't a single stock. Instead, it's actually precious metals, gold, and especially silver. Look at that, it's beautiful. Now, why are they on my list? Well, let's see what Google knows. Gold is used in printed circuit boards, cell phones, computer chips, connectors, and fingers. Silver is used in printed circuit boards, cell phones, computer chips, keyboard membranes, and some capacitors. Platinum is used in hard drive and circuit board components. Anytime we're talking about tech, hardware has to be used somewhere to power all of this stuff, and in the base form, of that hardware, the best conductivity metals are gold and silver. So if cryptocurrencies and the blockchain continue to use all that power and need all this big hardware and any other tech solution companies that are using big machines with a lot of power, they're gonna need gold and silver in those machines. They're getting them from manufacturers like Intel, AMD who produce chips. Right now there's a chip shortage and there's also talk about a silver short squeeze. Now, a couple of different companies you can check out that are trading under $100 is Ross Can Gold. That is a under a dollar stock that is a gold mining company, a junior miner. There's also DRD, which is a gold company under $10 currently right now that pays out a dividend. And then First Majestic Silver, which is targeted at directly only mining silver. So a lot of options out there. If you don't want to buy the physical product, there's companies that you can get into. Number four on my list was actually on my top 2020, top five tech stock lists of last year, Intel. Now you already probably know a lot about Intel. If you don't use their products and you're an Apple user, you still heard of them. Intel makes a lot of the chips. So does AMD. AMD is a good choice too. If you like AMD better than Intel, well, then you can kind of switch these back and forth at number four. But I like Intel because of the consistent dividend that they have paid. They've been up and down the past year, but you can see they've started growing back again and actually reached new highs here recently. So they've got a lot of potential and they've got that consistent dividend. We go to a max chart. You can see they've been paying out this dividend since about 2006, 2007 consistently across the board. Their previous high was $75, so they still have some room to run up to that $75 level and even possibly break above that. So a big chip manufacturer under $100 with a chip shortage, with a supply shortage of silver. I don't think they're going anywhere and I think they've got plenty of room to grow. Number three on my list is Mind CTI, ticker symbol MNDO. Now this company was on last year's list as well. They were at number five, but I've moved them up to number three. Reason being is because during the pandemic, when we had the lockdowns and we had a big drop in the stock market, MNDO didn't drop that much. It went from 250 down to $1.45 as the low. So it didn't get destroyed quite as hard as a lot of other tech stocks and other sectors as well. They rebounded very, very nicely and actually hit a new high of 333. Right now they're in a bit of a dip, but the biggest thing about this company that I like is this 24 and now 26 cent dividend. So they pay around 24 cents to 26 cents depending on the price of the company and dividend yield a year, that's once a year. But as cheap as this company is, that's a very high dividend yield and they've consistently paid it out over the last four or five years. Now you can check out their website, it's just mine CTI, and you can see they are in the business of real-time billing, customer care, and unified communication analytics. So you can see what type of stuff they are into, but this is one of those tech stocks that's gonna to continue to make money 
40 plus countries covered worldwide and then you can see 20 years plus experience and some of their partners it's definitely one to keep an eye on keep it on your watch list especially if you like a nice high paying dividend stock and here we are at number two horizon technology finance and this is ticker symbol hrzn and this is not a company that has some type of tech product or solution it's just a finance company they invest in startups give out tech loans to startups that are in the tech sector and newer companies so they are making money off of investing in other tech companies and as those companies grow this company grows the biggest thing i like about this company is they pay a monthly dividend of 10 cents you heard me right monthly every month that you hold the shares of this company you're going to get 10 cents per share so as long as these startups keep exploding which we're moving into this digital revolution horizon only stands to make more money and make their shareholders more money and here we are finally number one on my list ai that is ticker symbol ai this is c3.ai the company they are exactly what they sound like an artificial intelligence company there's a couple of reasons why this made number one. First reason is the ipo back here went on a nice massive run up to 180 even had a little another run right through here but then it's been selling off and it looks like it's finally started to find some support in the 60 dollar area ai is going to be big the more we move into the future in this digital revolution so this company that specifically focuses on ai solutions i think has a lot of potential it is bearish under all of these indicators but if they can find support here and buyers start to hold up here we can start seeing new buying coming in now here is their website you can see solving the previously unsolvable but you can unify all your data, build AI models, and deploy critical AI applications. Already they are doing 1.1 billion predictions per day with AI. And there's a lot of different sectors that they can disrupt with this technology. We can look at the different industries here. Manufacturing, oil and gas, utilities, banking, aerospace and defense, healthcare industry, retail, telecommunications, smart cities, and transportation. So the company just has a whole lot of potential in that field. And for tech stocks, AI is definitely going to be the future. So this is one that you have to have on your watch list. So since you stuck around for all five stocks, I now also have two bonus picks for you to add to your watch list. The first one is DCSX. This company I just did a video about. That was a sponsored video by DCX themselves. They have a whole lot of potential. They are in the OTC markets, but they're in the OTCQX. So to me, it seems like they're going to uplist pretty soon. They have pretty even assets to liabilities at the moment that was their 2019 numbers they're supposed to have earnings coming out soon so we'll see if those numbers get any better but you can see they've been on this nice uptrend and as long as they stay on that uptrend i think this stock will continue to be bullish and has potential to actually make some massive moves in the future because of their my sensors and their my fleet management and for the other bonus pick, we have MOTNF. This is Clean Power Capital Corp. This is a company that is working on hydrogen fueling stations that make the hydrogen on site 24 7, so there's no need for deliveries. Hydrogen vehicles are going to be able to get up to 900 miles per fill up, according to a lot of the data being presented, but they're going to need hydrogen fueling stations. This company already has 14 across the country and they will continue to grow. John is going to be doing a more in-depth video about this company. So be sure if you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that notification bell. 